it the sunny sky We laugh out like every night We can do what we want to We roll with the windows down Meet up with the boys in town We go out around and around Young and free, no place to be Hey, we go where we want to Hey, it's my Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a fabulous day Today I'm really excited because it is day three of DIY spring clean series and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make two essential cleaners that you should have in your cleaning caddy. Like seriously, you should always have them. They're going to save or just make your life a lot, lot easier. And I know I mentioned these um, already in my cleaning caddy, but they were method products. So this is going to be so much easier, so much cheaper, and you're just going to love it. It's going to do just as good of a job. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. This glass cleaner, I put it in a blue bottle because I thought Windex is blue, right, normally? So this is amazing. I like to clean my windows and glass surfaces with newspaper. Yes, reuse your old newspaper and use it to clean around the house. It's amazing. It really gives your uh, finishes, like your glass and um, mirror uh, finishes, a dust-free shine. It's amazing. I learned this trick when I was doing some house cleaning in Western Australia. So amazing trick. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how to make... Oh. Let's turn it around. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an all-purpose cleaner. This is essential in every single cleaning kit. You need to have one of these. And it's just great because you don't have to have a million products to clean everything around the house. This is safe enough to use everywhere. So unless you have like something very specific that needs to be cleaned in a certain way. But most of the time, if you can put water on it, you can put this on. So it's absolutely amazing. Both these products I love. They do a really good job cleaning. Don't don't think that just because it's a natural cleaner that's not going to do a good job and disinfect. These are going to do just a, as good of a job as your regular chemical toxic cleaners, I promise. So, so if you guys are interested in finding out how to make these cleaners, then just keep watching and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. natural glass cleaner. I have my little spray bottle here I got at the dollar store, really inexpensive. We're also going to need our little funnel, that way we can get all the ingredients in without making a huge mess, and our measuring cup. So I have a one cup here and a quarter of a cup. So I have my distilled water in a very easy to pour um, measuring cup here. And first I'm going to be pouring two... Oh, two cups of distilled water and then I'm going to be pouring that into our jar here. Okay, so that's one cup and we're going to do the second one. Next we're going to take our vinegar here. I'm just using plain old cheap white vinegar, nothing expensive. And I'm going to be pouring it into my quarter of a cup here. So you just need one fourth, and we're just gonna pour that in. And then pour it into your jar, or your bottle. And then we're gonna take our cast -isle soap. You can use any soap you like. This is a lavender scented one. If you're using one that's unscented, feel free to add a couple essential oils in here, and just to give it a nice smell to it. Okay, so we're only going to add about two to three drops of this cast -isle soap into one, two, three. Just a very little bit. You don't need a lot. And we're going to put our lid on, shake it up, and there you have it. You have a homemade glass cleaner, and we're just going to put a little label on it, and we'll be all set. So I have my little labels here. I just got these at Target, really inexpensive, and just a regular old black Sharpie. You can use a pen, whatever you like. So I just like to write it on before we stick it on. I feel like it's a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna write. We're gonna peel it off. Turn our spray bottle to the side. And stick it right on. And there you have it, your homemade 
natural glass cleaner, all labeled and ready to put into your cleaning kit or caddy. our natural all-purpose cleaner. I'm just using another spray bottle I got at the dollar store and I'm just going to take off the lid and we're going to use our little funnel here again and we're going to start off with the baking soda here because it is the dry ingredient we don't want it to stick to all the wet. So I'm just going to be putting a tablespoon of baking soda into our little funnel here Okay, so now that we have all of our baking soda in there, we can add in our water. You wanna add in your water first because the, I'm sure you remember from science class, vinegar will make the baking soda fizz up. So I have my a large measuring cup here. I'm just gonna kind of guess and see how much it can fit in here. So now we're gonna add in a quarter cup of white vinegar. Now before you put the lid on, let the air bubbles kind of come out of it because if you put this lid on um, top right now, it's going to start kind of squirting through the little uh, spout here. Trust me, I just did that, so let it kind of fizz up first for a bit before you put it on. So now we want to make a label for our all-purpose cleaner, so I'm just going to take my black Sharpie here and my little sticky labels and we're going to just label it. And there you have it, your natural all-purpose cleaner. It's super cheap to make and takes two seconds to kind of whip up together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you try out these DIY spring clean projects and use them in your cleaning ca uh, caddy or kit, whatever you use around the house. And if you guys enjoyed it, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and, and share it with your friends and family if you think they're gonna find these videos helpful. I would love it if you shared it. And don't forget to subscribe. As always, please subscribe if you haven't. And one more thing, if you haven't entered into my giveaway, I did a giveaway. It's um, connected to the TMI tag video. Go over there. I'm giving away one of Megan Roosevelt's um, cookbooks. She did a cookbook all on coconuts. I interviewed her as well. You can check that out. I'll put all the links down below to the interview and to the giveaway video. So also that TMI tag is really fun because it's 50 questions all about me. So if, if you're interested, I don't know, maybe that would be boring. But you'll learn a little bit more about me. So have a fabulous day and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video for day four of DIY Spring Clean Series. Bye!